Every human is naturally asymmetrical, and I'm going to break down the fundamental components of what makes us asymmetrical and what that looks like in the average person. This pattern has been identified and named the left AIC and right BC pattern from Postural Restoration Institute. There's a reason why most people are right-handed. We have an asymmetrical brain, and the left hemisphere that controls the right side of the body allows us to have more dexterity and the ability to have more fine motor control on the right side. We also have more weight on the right side of the body. Our liver is a big organ that sits predominantly in the the right side. Also our diaphragm, which is a muscle that can weigh 10 pounds or more, is bigger on the right side. So what happens is because we're shifted over to the right side, the spine is turned to the right and the right hip is higher, which means that the right shoulder goes lower. What happens because we're weight bearing on the right side is that this right hip is biased towards internal rotation and the sacrum bone right here is facing the right side. The femur is more internally rotated and adducted. On the left side, we have a more forward pelvis, which means that we have more external rotation on that side and we also have a more externally rotated femur. What tends to happen further down the chain because we're leaning on the right side is you tend to see a more pronated left foot or more of a lower arch on the left side and a higher foot arch on the right side because we're leaning on that side more, more on that heel. As a result, you would see better right hip internal rotation measurements, and you would see better left hip external rotation measurements. Because the spine is turned right, and for a couple of other reasons, the lower part of the thoracic spine tends to turn relatively to the left, which brings the right shoulder forward and the left shoulder back. So what you tend to see is this right scapula right here is being pulled forward away from the spine in internal rotation. So just like the hip, it's in an internally rotated position. The left shoulder, which is higher, tends to be pulled closer to the spine. So it's in more of an externally rotated position, just like the pelvis. Because of our respiratory and diaphragm asymmetry, what tends to happen is that these ribs become internally rotated, pulling this right shoulder more forward. And these ribs on the left tend to be more inflated or externally rotated. As a result of this, you would see better left shoulder internal rotation and better right shoulder external rotation measurements. In terms of the head position, because the right shoulder is higher, the head is slightly side bent to the left and also turning slightly left. Now, this doesn't need to be fixed on everyone, but if you do want to improve asymmetry, you want to facilitate better ability to get in the left hip into internal rotation and push out of the right side, meaning external rotation of that right hip. In the rib cage, you want to open up the right side ribs into more external rotation, which will help get this scapula in a better position. On the left side, we want to get the back of the rib cage to open up and help expand because that will improve the position of this scapula and shoulder. If you want to learn more, I have a more detailed video on both the left AIC and also a different video for the right BC pattern. In terms of the compensation that happens after this, check out my PEC video.